Hi guys, this is Cheka again for another bedtime story. Tonight, I will be reading The Very Hungry Caterpillar. One sunny day, the little caterpillar was hatched out of a tiny egg. He was very hungry. On Monday, he ate through one apple. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums, and still, he was hungry. Strikingly bold, colorful features in a simple text and large, clear type tell the story of the little, hungry little caterpillar's progress through an amazing variety and quantity of foods. Full at last, he made a cocoon around himself and went to sleep. To wake up a few weeks later, wonderfully transformed into a butterfly. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. One Sunday morning, the, the warm sun came up and pop out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. He started to look for some food. On Monday, he ate through one apple, but he was still hungry. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears, but he was still hungry. Hmm. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums, but he was still hungry. Then on Thursday, he ate through four strawberries, but he was still hungry. Then on Friday, he ate through five oranges, but he was still hungry. Then on Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, wow, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. That night, he had a stomach ache. The next day was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf. And after that, he felt much better. Now, he wasn't hungry anymore. And he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big, fat caterpillar. He built a small house called a cocoon around himself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon, pushed his way out, and poof, he was a beautiful butterfly. Wow, and that is our lovely story for tonight. See you again tomorrow for another bedtime story. Thank you and see you.